Episode 9 is said to have many different twists and turns, as well as surprises in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one aspect of Episode 9 that a lot of people are truly looking forward to seeing in this movie is exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to utilize the characters of Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren and the journey that they will go on in this film that will actually be used in order to push the characters forward in this story. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with one of the moments between Kylo Ren the Knights of Ren, and even Supreme Leader Snoke. Specifically, a description of Kylo Ren inside of an abandoned First Order base, with his Knights of Ren on an unknown world, described to be in the Outer Rim. It's described to be the original headquarters of the First Order. The next goes over Kylo examining what is said to be Snoke's original throne room. It's said to be very dark with the Knights of Ren using flashlights. The next goes over Kylo activating a hologram, where it's described that for years Snoke has been keeping tabs on a dark side energy within the unknown regions that has been growing for decades. It's said that Snoke kept that a secret and even tried to suppress his own power, preventing this entity from discovering his location. Additionally, through the Snoke hologram, it's said that the Unknown Regions is only the key to the beyond in the actual Star Wars universe, and even Palpatine himself felt the same presence. It's described that during Snoke's time in the Unknown Regions, before the days of the First Order, the energy was even able to make Snoke stronger. So I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this. Now, first things first, this whole entire discovery of the abandoned First Order base, the First Order headquarters, is actually a little nod to the books, in case you guys did not read the books. You do learn that originally the First Order had a plan in place, in order to have the headquarters placed on a planet, until Snoke made up his mind to go mobile in space, within his supremacy ship, within the Unknown Regions. And that whole entire period of his life most definitely does connect to this whole entire explanation between the Snoke hologram, Kylo Ren, and even the Knights of Ren. So like I say, the Unknown Regions is just a key to the Beyond, and it's really making one wonder exactly what the Beyond really is going to be in Star Wars Episode 9. Now, these past weeks, give or take, we actually did learn that the Beyond is, of course, a place that shows the origins of the Dark Side of the Force, as well as a great power that can benefit both Light Side and Dark Side users, as well as, you know, giving a lot of abilities to some Force users that travel there. So as far as Supreme Leader Snoke goes, you know, what's really intriguing about all of this is that his time over in the Unknown Regions with this, with this actual dark side energy allowed him to become a stronger man than he was ever before. So with that being said, alright, this is also hinted at in the, I believe it is the last Jedi novelization, where Snoke even expressed concern about some elements of the Force itself and how some of it is very well dangerous of the certain powers that he's actually using. So, with that being said, if we look at the Knights of Ren, Kylo Ren, and whatnot, we do know that they are going to be going on a couple of quests in this movie in order to really show us that element of Kylo Ren being the master of the Knights of Ren and ordering them on what to do. So, I'm starting to wonder what planet this is really on. This could very well be the planet that was originally supposed to be in Star Wars Episode 7, you guys may recall. Uh, there was an original concept for Episode 7 in which we had a large, rocky planet with a large First Order base. So, the thing here about all of this, though, is this dark side energy that has been growing for decades in the Unknown Regions. Is this the new threat that is going to present itself in Star Wars Episode 9? Whatever this dark side energy is, Emperor Palpatine also felt it as well during the events of the books, such as Aftermath and even Empire's End. Now, a lot of people were assuming that maybe that was Supreme Leader Snoke that Emperor Palpatine was feeling, but this seems like it's going to be a different entity overall that will be introduced in Episode 9, and is likely the new villain or villains that are set to make an appearance at the end of the, mil uh, at the, end of the movie itself. So, when I think about Star Wars Episode 9, the thing that I'm really excited about is, of course, the Sith lore, the Jedi lore, all the different twists and turns, as well as some of the revelations that will be presented by some of the characters, such as, you know, the Snow hologram, and such as Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren and their travels, to whatever, to whatever planet this is really on. 
So, episode 9, guys, I gotta say, I'm very excited for the title reveal on April 12th. You know, we're not that far away. I believe we're only two weeks at this point in time away from the official teaser trailer and the title reveal. So, that title reveal is definitely going to give us an overall idea, right? A general idea or clue about what the real plot of the movie is actually going to be. So let me know what you guys have to say about this dark side energy that's been growing for decades that Snoke actually felt for a very long time and in fact this dark side energy made him a whole lot more stronger than he ever was before, before the events of the sequel trilogy. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.